Hi guys, this is Emily Cupelli, and for today's card I'll be using the Mermaid for You stamp sets from Lomfon. I started stamping my images on Strathmore watercolor paper using my archival ink in jet black. Now I am coloring them using my Dusty Concord, Victorian Velvet and Stormy Sky Distress inks, along with some water and my watercolor brush. I didn't show it in the video so I want to mention that I also colored the skin of the mermaids using my tattered rose and antique linen distress inks. I want to remind you that I always link the list of supplies on my blog. Once I had my mermaids colored, I cut down in a squared watercolored panel to five and a half inches, and I colored it with my distress inks in tumbled glass and mermaid lagoon, adding the darker color to the lower part of the panel and the lighter to the upper area. I used the mermaid lagoon since the color in the images are a little toned down, so this particular color makes the card look brighter and happier. For this, I'm using my round blending tool. Then I added some splatters of water to my panel and blotted it with the paper towel. Once I was happy with the water splatters, I also added some more splatters using my Mermaid Lagoon and a lot of water. I also blotted some of them with the paper towel to make them a little lighter. Here I have my four biggest circular dies, where the biggest one is about four and a quarter inches. Anyhow, I removed the biggest one, and then out of the three I had left, I removed the one in the middle, and I run the other two through my die cutting machine. From this, I got a squared frame, a circular frame, and a circle in the middle. It is important to keep the three of them, since I'll be using the three of them later. Then I stick the squared frame to another squared five and a half panel. Once I had my squared frame secured in place, I placed the circular frame inside of it to use it just as a guide, and then with more adhesive, I stick the circle in the middle of it. Then I put together three layers of foam tape and cut it in half. Removing both of the backing papers from my foam tape, I am sticking it down as close to the circle in the center as possible. Once I had my foam tape in place, I added some blue and clear droplets to the middle of it. Here I also cut a circle out of some acetate and stick it on top of the foam tape. Then I added some square tape to my circular frame and I stick it on top of my acetate. Now I'll take my biggest circle die, as I just said it is about 4 and a quarter inches, and I'll die cut another squared frame with it. As you can see here, I also added some foam tape to my watercolored panel, and I placed a penny in the little channel I created. Finally, I sticked the square frame to it. Once I make sure my penny slides properly, I'll stick another piece of foam tape to it, always using three layers of foam tape, just like I did at the beginning. Then we'll stick my narwhal to it, and we'll also stick my mermaids to the acetate using some score tape. Just in case you are wondering, I watercolored the narwhal with the Stormy Sky Distress Ink. 
to add some glitter and shine to the tails of my mermaids, we'll use my stickles in Waterfall and Grape Crush. I love these stickles because the purple one looks purple when the light is not hitting it, but then it changes to blue when the light hits it. And the blue one has an iridescent tone when the light hits it and changes to different tones of greens and yellows. Then I added some of my clear glaze pen from Sakura to the unicorn of the narwhal, as well as its eye and the sister in the hair of the other mermaid. I also added some tiny dots of my liquid pearls in white opals to the tiara of the mermaid. I feel these last details add a really pretty finishing touch to the card, as well as a really nice shine. And here is my shaker slider card all finished. This card is bigger than any other card I had made before, but I think it is totally worth it. The combination of both techniques looks really cool, and all the little details together look really pretty. The narwhal slides really well, and the droplets shake inside of it as you spin it. As always, I love all the shine and sparkle in the card. I really hope you like this card as much as I do. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Don't forget to check out my blog to see the list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here are two more cards in case you missed them and my last plan with me video in my other channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!